Valley Mayor Nancy McFarland says she wants another term. She delivered her State of the City address tonight. CBS North Carolina's Kelly Kennedy in downtown Raleigh with the mayor's vision for the city moving forward. Kelly? Sean McFarland says this past year, the city of Raleigh has seen a tremendous amount of economic success. But with growth comes new challenges like traffic and a lack of affordable housing. McFarland says at a time where much of the country and the state is divided, she's really hoping that Raleigh can be the exception. And together, we can make sure that Raleigh continues to be the city that we love. Mayor McFarland says the city of Oaks has a lot to be proud of. Clearly, we're doing something right. Our, our population continues to grow by about 2.3% annually. She says in 2016, Raleigh saw more than a 4% increase in employment. And she says companies like Citrix and WalkMe have announced hundreds of new job openings. The recent additions to our market of high-speed gigabit fiber offer our residents more options in high-speed internet service than New York City or San Francisco. But as the city continues to grow, it also faces new hurdles, like traffic. In November, the Wake County Transit referendum passed, and McFarland says the plan will be available for public comment beginning next week. We expect to start seeing those improved transit services in 2018. Another issue, the lack of affordable housing. McFarland says the council has developed a plan to partner with local nonprofits to build more affordable housing across the city. A growing cities all face the same dilemma. The more popular we become, the faster we see our housing prices rise. And finally, the revitalization of Dorothea Dix Park. This park has to come from us. It has to feel like Raleigh. She says she's confident the consultant chosen to craft the park's master plan will engage the entire community throughout the two-year process. The economic development and financial impact that comes with a park like this can be a huge economic driver for the city. McFarland has announced that she will be running for a fourth term this fall. She says she has a really great team and she's really excited for the Dorothea Dix project and would really like to see it through. Live in Raleigh, Kelly Kennedy, CBS North Carolina. Okay.